have here is one cup of cherries and frozen berries and to that I'm adding two frozen bananas that I had previously frozen. These are very ripe bananas that I freeze so they don't go bad completely. I peel them and just stick them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them and they're ready to go whenever I want to make a smoothie or in this case sorbet. I pulse them in my food processor and then I take the Almond Breeze Almond Cashew Unsweetened Original Milk and I add a little bit of the milk, most of it spilled out, <laughs> but I add it to that and it makes it a little bit more creamy, otherwise it's just like shaved ice or chopped up frozen fruit. And after a little while of pulsing it and I see where all the pieces have been mixed in quite well and it's nice and smooth and creamy I eventually end up turning it off giving it a little stir you want to make sure if there's any chunky pieces you knock them back down let it mix well all together then I remove the food processor bowl off of the processing part and take out the blade and wipe it off into the bowl, which you don't see that I have there below. And I serve it. This actually made two very nice servings of sorbet. And all you see here is actually two small bananas, which are 90 calories each for a total of 180 calories, and the one cup of berries, which is 60 calories, so that's a total of 250 calories. If I was to eat all of that, which there's no way I could have, but 125 calories for half of that, and it's all fresh fruits, so it's all natural sugars. Alternatively, if you're not vegan, you can add honey or if you like you can add stevia but I find that once you freeze fruits the natural sweetness is enhanced and it brings out the natural sweetness when you uh, blend it all up and especially very ripe bananas the more ripe the banana the better and so I put some in the bowl that you don't see and the bowl that you do see is actually the excess it's a Tupperware or a Rubbermaid bowl so that I can put that in the freezer and this is the bowl I'm showing you that I myself enjoyed and it is so delicious so creamy so good I made myself some fruit sorbet all it is is bananas and a mixture of frozen berries and cherries fruit mix that I get at Walmart now, this is completely vegan. There's no honey in it or any added sweetener. However, if you'd like it a little sweet, you don't mind putting honey in it, you can do so. It also has a little uh, cashew almond milk that I use, which is only 25 calories per cup. I probably maybe didn't even use a whole cup. It's just to help kind of make it a little bit more creamier. You can use vanilla or soy whatever you prefer if you drink regular milk you can probably use that too but this is completely vegan and um, you can also put like a sweet and low in there or stevia or something if you wanted to sweeten it up a bit if you didn't want to use honey hmm. so that's all there is to the uh, make your own non dairy vegan fruit treat just like ice cream I do have to add that you will have to eat it fast or it will melt as it's doing here <laughs> but if you don't get a brain freeze or a chest freeze from the icy coldness of it um, this is my one serving plus this is what's left over I will freeze that and it is just as good frozen because it doesn't freeze or it's really super hard. I mean it will but it won't. But I'll put this away in my freezer and when I want a nice fruity treat 
that's good to eat and healthy. There you go. That's what that I'll said, do. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed.